Hello everyone, welcome back to another speed build in The Sims 4. My name is Lily and today I'm really, really pumped about the build that we're doing. It was one of those builds that just came together so nicely for me. I was able to knock it over in less than two hours, which just about never happens, especially when I've got a really big lot size like this one. But for some reason, it was just on my side as I was building and I was able to smash out a build that not only was quick, but I'm really proud of it. I actually really, really like this build. I think it's the perfect combination of so many different things for your sims to do and the aesthetic is gorgeous. It's sort of like a jungle modern vibe and it's great. It's a, it's on the lot called Stargazer Lounge. So the lounge that was there originally, this is in San Maishuno by the way, was just the most boring lounge ever. I think it had a bubble machine thing for your sims to suck on and one lounge bar and a pool, but it was just so poorly designed and poorly constructed. So it was just screaming for a renovation and a remodel. So that's what I've done here. I'm keeping it true to the spirit of what it was. So I'm keeping the pool in there and otherwise just having lots of different sort of zones and areas for your sims to enjoy different activities. There's lots of places for them to sit and relax. There's a hot tub. There's a really cool dance floor and a stage with not only a DJ setup, but also live music as well. So it's really got everything that you need to have a good time. And when I was building this, I was actually really inspired by one of the clubs or lounges, I suppose, that we have here in Sydney called the Ivy, the Ivy Pool House. So it's sort of the place to go if you're traveling to Sydney or even if you live in Sydney. And they have day events and night events and it's just the sickest place. It's got a huge pool, it's got uh, a luxury sort of penthouse VIP suite, which I've been fortunate enough to be in just once in my life and once was enough. It was. Uh, very memorable to say the least. There's also a restaurant there and sort of I think there's like three different bars or three different sections so they often host a lot of the big DJs and what have you at Ivy. Granted I haven't been in a few years because of COVID but it is awesome. It's just one of those places that's just so iconic in Australia and for that reason I sort of had it in mind when I was building this out and I think it just is such a nice vibe, this jungle sort of look that I'm going for. You'll see I'm landscaping now. It's got the best views of all of The Sims games on this lot. It is just insane. You can see all the different districts and at night especially, it's just really nice playing here. The gameplay aspect as well with your Sims because there's just so much to see if you're just like looking out. So I think what I might do is actually convert this from a community lot to a residential lot in the future and then build some sick, like massive mansion <laughs> penthouse on the top of it here. It's also one of the biggest lots in San Maishuno, which is nice as well. Um, I really struggle with big lots though. I find that like, you know, substantial lots for me are like a 20 by 20 or, you know, 20 by 30 lot. Anything that are like the 50 by 50s or 64 by 64 lots that a lot of people build mansions on, I just can't fill up the space. I don't know about you guys, but it's just too big. It's way too big. So I was able to do a big lot here without feeling like it was really difficult to fill out because there's just so many different sections and it is one story. So this section here is like the main bar. It's the only sort of undercover bit. Uh, actually, that's not true. There's one other little undercover bit I build out a little bit later on in the video, but this is sort of the main structure in the back corner there with a nice glass ceiling and it's got the toilets hidden behind it so you can go to the bathroom and then it's got the bar as well. Uh, I've also filled out lots of sections for your sims to sit down, have a drink, have a dance, have a bubble, <laughs> I don't know what you call it, like that bubble machine, um, have a fizz, maybe it's called that. But um, yeah, there's heaps to do here. And because I had it all spaced out into sections or zones, I was actually able to fill it out quite quickly. And with all my community lots, I like to make sure that there's heaps of things for your Sims to do as well so that you can spend a lot of time here. One of the annoying things about The Sims 4 is that there are a lot of loading screens and we didn't have that in The Sims 3 and The Sims, I, Sims 2 and Sims 3. I'm not sure, but 
Um, that was a lot more open world. You could just zoom straight out. You could follow your Sims in the car. And with The Sims 4, you don't have that functionality and there's a lot of loading time and loading screens, which is, you know, a regress and it's really annoying. But what I mean, what I mean by that is that I like to have a lot of things for your Sims to do so you don't have to go changing lots all the time. So you'll notice that there's some, somewhere for your Sims to eat. They can go to the bathroom and lots of like sort of things for them to do so that you can meet all of their needs without having to leave the lot. And I think that that's sort of the best way to build community lots in general, just so you don't have to build five different lots with all a different skill building thing on each or something to do on each because you want your Sims to sort of not have to go out that much actually I, I'm, I'm speaking for people as though I know how you like to play your games but I can't really be bothered to change community lots all the time or go to different lots all the time I'm a bit of a homebody in the sims my sims gameplay always ends up with that personality trait of homebody or introvert or whatever it is where they spend a lot of time at home uh, and I suppose that's kind of true for my real life as well. I used to go out and party and sort of be quite wild in my early 20s and late teens. And so now that I'm in sort of my mid 20s, I'm definitely a lot more relaxed and just I enjoy being at home a lot more and doing things like gaming and making these videos and having people over for dinner and cooking for people than I do going out. So that's a little bit of an insight into me in my life at the moment and COVID as well was just one of those things where you know I really started to realize how much I liked spending time at home I didn't feel like I was really missing out on too much by having to just stay home I think it really is kind of easy that when the government was saying hey we really need you to stay home that to do your bit that to be able to do what the government needed and to be able to keep everyone safe by just staying home wasn't a difficult ask at all especially when I love staying home so much so anyway uh, this club though this lounge that I'm building definitely gave me uh, lots of memories of when I used to go out and I used to hit the club and have a lot of fun so I sort of took that with me as inspiration into different zones again you can sort of see I'm building out another zone here so that's sort of like a casual seating area uh, I've got a few little menus and little light bulbs on the coffee tables there just to make it look a little bit more realistic and the idea that you can sort of order food over there. There's a little VIP, VIP bucket of champagne I've just popped in. And there's also the bench seating in the middle of the bar area as well undercover uh, in case it's raining or for whatever reasons. If you've got the seasons pack and you can't have your sims out in the open, there's also somewhere for them to sit next to the bar. And you can see I'm just building in a little hot tub now, which is quite cute. Just somewhere that your Sims can go relax. Maybe this is like the VIP corner. I sort of thought to myself, there's a lot of VIP corners in this in this build out. Um, but yes, we'll also put a little undercover area over there as well for the Sims. And really, there's not too much else to that I will be building out. I'll sort of let you guys see the rest. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I thought that I'd take a moment to update you guys on how I'm going with the getting my own artwork into The Sims uh, mission that I've been on. And I can confirm that I have successfully figured out how to do it with a little help from my community uh, who helped direct me towards some tutorials. I have officially got all of the artwork ready and prepared to show and share with you guys in one of my future builds. Um, I actually started building out and renovating the art gallery for the purpose of finishing that and then being able to show you guys all of my art actually in the Sims art gallery lot. But that ended up being a bit of a beast, um, that renovation and that community lot build. So I'm still working on it. And then of course the Oasis uh, kit came out, the Courtyard Oasis kit. And of course I had to get my little paws on that, which I did do. And I can confirm it is super, super, super worthwhile. I'm so happy that I got that. It's gorgeous. It's got so many plants and nice build items, like a lot of nice wallpapers and tiling. And I went a little crazy and I built a um, courtyard Riyadh, Riyadh, I'm calling it, which is uh, the Moroccan Riyadhs is sort of what I feel the Inspire kit, the entire kit is inspired by. 
So I built a Riyadh and I actually made it a day spa, like a really luxurious day spa. So I'll be sharing that build with you guys next week. And the following week I will do the um, art gallery build because by then it will be finished and decked out and nice and gorgeous and ready to show you guys. And uh, I'm debating whether or not it's actually in the speed build that I'll show you my artwork or the following video after that where I'll show you guys the artwork sort of as a tour in the gallery versus the speed build. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. That's all yet to come. So uh, that's been really exciting, sort of finding other ways that I can integrate my art into my YouTube channel for you and just show you guys a little bit more of my personality. And I don't know, like art is such a huge, huge factor of my life. It's sort of my defining trait and characteristics. So being able to show you guys more of that, I know I've mentioned it in previous videos, but it is really important to me. So I'm very excited for that to be the first little step. There's actually quite a few little DIY things I want to do around my house as well that are very art and sort of maker oriented. So I'm thinking I'm going to make videos around that as well. So more on that space to come for you guys. So I really hope you like it. Um, things like building out a desk and a coffee table with this really cool like iridescent sort of perspex on it uh, and like those tile tables you see on Pinterest all the time that's sort of um, a few of the things that I'm exploring if you don't know what I mean that's okay because I'll make a video about it and show you guys the whole process and uh, you know the things that are in my day-to-day -day life that are really inspiring me but as we're sort of closing out the video here with these little dining table sections, I um, just want to, again, as always, thank you guys for stopping by, watching the videos. I'm actually losing my voice a little bit. I'm not too well this week. So thank you for sticking with me through the video. And I'll see you guys next week for another video. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by. I'm waffling on now. Um, leave a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.